What's going on guys? This video is going to be pretty interesting. I'm going to show you how to install your touch climate control from a G32 in our 5 series. I've seen online that the 5 series climate controls, they go for like 250, 280. That's too much. So the G32 ones go for about 120, 130 max. So I figured let me buy one and see if I can swap over some parts and save some money. So let me show you what it looks like. So this is the trim from the G30 7 series. The reason why this doesn't fit on our cars, if you turn it around back, is because of these four clips. They have nowhere to latch onto our car. So all we have to do is change the back casing to the ones that's on our car and it'll be able to stick on with no problem. Take your pick tool behind the trim. Just pop the trim back. T15. Remove the screw. Grab from right here. And just tuck backwards. Disconnect your ambient, start stop button, and your trim comes out. You grab your trim, just pull it out of place. You have this cable here for the CD player, and this one for the AC climate. So unplug those two, and it comes right out. Now let me show you how to take this black trim and switch over everything to the other climate control. The only reason why the 7 series doesn't work in our cars is because of these guys they won't be able to latch on to the 5 series so we just got to take the back casing and put it on this one now how you remove it is you see this little cable be very careful pulling it out so just take a little flathead you'll see a little clip and the cable is disconnected you come around from the top and you want to take out the outer trim and these are just held on by little clips so don't be afraid to just push it straight through this guy will come right out with the second trim. Again, you press from the side. Oh, and then it comes right out. This is the trim that I'll be using on this one. And I'll also be replacing the buttons to black. I'll also be taking the ceramic knobs and putting them on this one. Do the same for the touch climate. Now, luckily for us, all we need to do is change the bottom part because these two can just swap places. It's the same connection uh, and we don't have these two that get in our way from putting it in the car. So just swip this one out when you replace the buttons on this. I'll show you how to do that. Just for comparison guys, the 7 series, you can't even press on the trim. But here it's very fragile but looks. How to remove these buttons, it's very simple. All you have to do is take a flathead and simply pop them out of place. You want to start with your max AC one because that'll be the easiest one to get out. So take your flathead, get right behind the button, and just turn. Once it's popped out, just grab, and the button will come right out. Do the same for all the buttons around. Once you pop all your buttons off, do the same for your touch climate. Once you get all your fancy 7 series buttons off, we're going to take off the knobs and switch them over. Take a flathead, put it right under the knob, and it just comes right off. Do the same for the other side. Once you remove your knobs, we have to remove the back casing. It's pretty simple. You have these little clips. You just take flathead, you wedge it right underneath the clip, you get another flathead. Once you unclip all of the clips, the back cover will just come right out and we don't longer need this. So, once you unclip all of them, back covering will come right out and we no longer need this and the cover goes right back on the new one just be careful with these little teeth when you're putting it back on they have to line up exactly with the holes as you see you have them lined up just go ahead and click it in place voila take your buttons line them up press down do the same for this guy we're good and this is how easy it is to put back your buttons. You just press them in. Last button, click it in. Just give it one extra click. Make sure they're all in. When you're putting everything back, you put the big side in first. So put your trim around, like this. Just clip it in. All the way around flip it around make sure it's sitting flush around the trim you come around back and you put in 
this guy. And it'll literally just line up in place. And it should look something like this. You have your ceramic knobs on your touch climate control, on your black trim, and on the back, you have your uh, mount points. So let's go ahead and put it on the car and see exactly what it looks like. You take your new trim and you plug it back in. Same place that the cables went. For the cables, just tuck them in between the mount points so you don't get them caught. As you see these little notches, they sit inside of these little holes. So you have to start with the top first and then push it in. So you start from the top. Make sure they're sitting in. And all you have to do is press down. And it should snap right in place. Actually, let's test it out, see if it works. So we go here. Wow. Oh, so much better. Max AC. If you have heated and cooling seats, then they'll both show up here. But if you have heated just like mine, you only get one option. Let's see if the menu works. There you go. The menu also pops up. It's plug and play. You don't need to code anything just because it's from a G32. Doesn't mean you need to code. It's all plug and play. And there you guys go. Plug in your start stop button, your ambient, line up your air vents. Snap it back in place and put your screw and cover back on. Check this out. At night, it makes a world of a difference. Like when you're getting into the car and you hit something, it's so nice. And also, when you're turning off the car. So we go to options, turn off vehicle. Just the way it turns off and on is so nice. But yeah, guys, here it is. Until next time, take it easy. Peace. Alright, we, we, we need to make sure we pass that on video. Okay.